But before the Christmas season, of course, we got to get through Halloween. We are now one week away. And you might be looking for a safe way to get into the spirit this season. At Indy Scream Park, the zombies are out, but they are socially distanced. Sarah Jones takes us to Anderson now to show us how they're pulling it all off. <laughs> It's that time of year when things go bump in the night. And that's why people of all ages are lining up at Indy Scream Park in Anderson. We have five actual haunted house attractions, plus a new one that's outside that's a, called Zombie Paintball Assault. The zombie assault is where you ride this abandoned school bus and attack zombies with paintball guns. We are on a school bus. Seats have been taken out, equipped with paintballs, and the zombies are out. John and I are shooting at them. You can see all the paintballs are black light and glow in the dark. <laughs> oh, we got them. For the brave souls, there's a nightmare factory blackout. Pitch black, complete darkness, haunted action. We run a, a rope along the wall that you just touch with the outside of your hand, and it just kind of guides you all through all the switchbacks and the different rooms. We're met with different surprises throughout, uh, drop windows, air cannons that uh, startle you from all different directions, weird things hanging from the ceiling. Parts of the floor will drop out from underneath you, so you feel like falling. Uh, just it really kind of messes with your senses. The most popular attraction is Kilgore's 3D Circus. The other fan favorites are still here as well, including Zombieland and Backwoods. Up there is a bunch of cannibals that just want to chase you down and make you part of dinner. The monsters, zombies, clowns, and any other creatures creeping in the night won't actually grab you this year due to the pandemic, and they're all wearing masks. Indy Scream Park asks visitors to do the same. If you dare to enter. <laughs> Indy Scream Park is open through November 1st and then also November 6th and 7th. The park opens at 7 o'clock. I love, Kelly, that we still have the opportunity to do this. Just yes. In a safe way. Right, 